Hello, my name is Doug Goose with Condry Corporation. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use Group Symmetry to automate group membership management in real time. So, let's take a look at some of the policies I have set up. So, within Group Symmetry, you can assign policies directly to the groups. For example, here is the Atlanta Employees Policy. So, this policy is looking for any users that are created or exist in the Atlanta Employees Container. Okay, and if they exist in that and their accounts enabled, they will get added to the Atlanta employees uh, group. I uh, also have a similar one set up for email in Atlanta. So when I create a user in a little bit in the Atlanta employees container, it will automatically add them to these groups. I also have a couple of them set up looking at the monitoring the attributes. Uh, so group symmetry will monitor uh, the attributes for the department in this case and with department equals to marketing will automatically add this user to the marketing department as long as they exist in either the Atlanta HQ or London locations. I have another policy for the business development. Now this policy is using an LDAP query and it's looking to see if the user is department attribute is set to marketing or it's set to sales and they will get added to the group or the title equals CEO and the account must be enabled and what this policy is doing is monitoring from the CC Tech organizational unit and all subcontainers so it's basically monitoring for all, all users in that criteria and then lastly I have a policy for the inactive employees this policy is, is basically monitoring all these containers for three, each one of the locations and looking to see if the account has been disabled and if it's been disabled it's going to automatically add them to the inactive employees group but in turn it will also remove them from all the other groups since that's the criteria for each one of those policies that the account be enabled. So what I want to do next is I want to just create a new user in Atlanta and we'll watch this work. So I'm going to create Alex Jones So I just created Alex in the Atlanta employees container. So what's going to happen is going to read the policies uh, and notice that uh, for the Atlanta building access email Atlanta employees. Now I'm also going to go ahead and go into the properties here and I'm going to add Alex to the sales department. So I'm, group symmetry is monitoring in real time for this attribute change. Go ahead and apply that. And one of the things I can do, I can actually go in and if I look at each one of these, you can do a preview and you will notice here that it's actually in the, picked up on that event and it's going to add Alex to this particular group for the sales department. And it would do the same thing for the Atlanta email Atlanta employees. So now if I go in and look at Alex, Alex is a member of the Atlanta building access, Atlanta email and Atlanta employees groups just by the fact that I created that user in that container. Now if I cancel out of this, let's see if it's already picked up on the attribute. So we notice now he's also in the sales department. So the next thing I'm going to do is let's move Alex from Atlanta to London. Now since these policies in Atlanta are based on the fact that the, the user is monitoring, they have to be in the Atlanta employees, then that's no longer going to be true so group symmetry will remove Alex from each one of those groups and it's going to automatically add Alex to the groups based on the Atlanta container location. So if I go back and we, we take a look at London employees for example, let's see if uh, Alex Jones has already been added to each one of those groups so if I actually go in and look at Alex based on that move event We've automatically removed Alex from each one of these locations. He's a member of the sales department and he's also a member of business development since that business development says if you're in sales or marketing you get added to that group. Next thing I want to do is let's disable Alex. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this account. So since the criteria is that for any group if, if the user must be enabled to be a member 
this this uh, this event is going to trigger the removal of Alex from all the groups that he's currently in and is going to add Alex to the inactive employees group automatically so we should be if I go in and take a look at the preview here uh, Alex has already been added to that group notice that's real time there's no polling that's having to take place based on a specified time we are triggering on these events with our event monitor so now if I go into Alex Jones you'll see that he's been removed from the groups automatically and added to the Atlanta employees group the last thing I want to do is let's take a look at the CEO now the the CEO for the business development group uh, is David Conley so notice if I look at the organization that attribute is set to to uh, CEO and if I actually take a look at the group itself you'll notice that David Conley is a member of that group along with the, the uh, people that are in the marketing as well as the sales department based on that policy setting so what I'm going to do let's go ahead and I'm just going to go into that particular user Mr. Conley is no longer the CEO so I'm going to remove that title and let's go in we're going to add Edwin is now the new CEO so based on this attribute change group symmetry is monitoring these events so in just a little bit we're going to see that for the business development we'll see that um, D Conley has already been removed and then um, I believe it was Edwin Edwin is being added right now so let's go in and take a take a look at this group again for business development members and you'll notice here is Edwin's been added as the CEO and we removed Mr. Conley from that group so this should give you a really good idea of how group symmetry allows you to automatically manage memberships of your groups in Active Directory based on real-time events that are occurring thank you very much and I hope you have a great day